The night sky is fascinating to watch with the naked eye. Billions of stars twinkle across our own galaxy, and billions of other galaxies across the universe. But something else might catch your attention in the night sky: our own magnificent moon. But have you ever wondered why we always see the same side of the moon? In fact, the first time we ever took a picture of the far side of the moon was when the Apollo astronauts. Flew around the moon and back. From the surface of the Earth, it is simply impossible to see the other side of the moon. Sounds like the far side of the moon is playing hide and seek. Actually, there is a reason for this strange phenomenon, and it is called tidal locking. My name is Danny. I am ten years old from Australia, and I welcome you to episode seven of Danny Decode. A podcast that explains what is hard to explain. A moon is tidally locked with its planet when the time it takes the moon to complete a full orbit around its planet is exactly the same time it takes the moon to complete a full spin on itself. <sighs> That was a long sentence, but for an easier way to understand this, you can actually try an experiment at home. Place an object in the center of a room, then move around it, but keep facing the object at all times. You will naturally find yourself orbiting the object. By the time you get to the opposite side of the room, you would have completed half a rotation around the object. But also half a spin on yourself. If you keep going, you will get back to where you started, and you will have completed one full rotation around the object, and also one full spin on yourself. But is there a reason the moon is tidally locked with the Earth? The answer is yes. Let me explain. Tidal locking occurs when both objects, the Earth and the Moon, Apply gravitational forces on each other. The force that is applied will always be stronger on the sides facing each other. This forces the objects to stretch, which actually causes the tides. Over time, the moon is pulled and stretched, causing it to slow down gradually until its orbit precisely matches its rotation and becomes tidally locked with the Earth. But tidal locking doesn't just happen between a moon and a planet. It can also happen between a planet and its star, or even between two stars. It is typically the case when two objects are close enough to each other. That's why our planet is not tidally locked with the sun. If that was the case, one face of the Earth would always be baking in sunlight, and the other face would be extremely cold in complete darkness. Thank you for listening to Danny Decode. More episodes can be found at dannydecode.com or on any of your favorite podcasting platforms. As always, I will try my best to explain what is hard to explain. Danny.